I'm sitting down with Ricky right now. You just put on an epic show. It's two in the morning. I think it's past two in the morning. And we're at the end of 2015. And I want to talk about the year with you. When yeah. you look back at 2015, what were some of your, your highlights, your most memorable moments? Um, I don't know. It's a bl I mean, moments like these sort of, you know, sum up the year for me. It's the first time performing at a, 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 a type of event like this, Buena Kaya. Never had hip hop artists perform before. And I think it's the first time me and Casper came out, the first time ever. So moments like these, it's just like everything has just been brand new. Everything has just been a new experience. Just, you know, checking new ground. So it's just been brilliant for me, man. Now, you talked about this event, and I honestly think the whole of East London is here tonight. And I saw you on stage asking everyone to, to turn to each other and, and shake the hands of people standing next to them. Yeah. And that was such an incredible moment. Like, I yeah. actually felt it. I thought, wow. The stadium full of people, they're actually speaking to each other, connecting yeah. with each other. Yeah. What was that like for you as an artist to see see this happen on a mass scale and know that you did that? Yeah, I mean, the, I, the whole point, like, I do what I do for people to just, you know, feel comfortable with other people and feel comfortable with themselves. Because I I was never comfortable with myself until music came into my life. So while we're gathering and dancing to music, let's make sure we're building and linking with other people. We never get the time to look over next door and just, you know, shake somebody's hand or just build somebody because, you know, we've got that little bit of fear. So, you know, for me, it's, it's just always a blessing to be around new people and speaking to new people and figuring them out. That's the biggest blessing you could ever have. Now, you just said you were, you were never comfortable with yourself until music came along. What do yeah. you mean? What, who were you before music came along? Well, some, you know, some people use music as maybe a way to make money. Some people use it as maybe a way to achieve some sort of status. And then, uh, you get like the people who do music for um, just getting their feelings out or their emotions out. So things come out uncensored, they might come out, you know, um, against the status quo. But, you know, it's, a, it's an emotional driver, driver for me, you know what I mean? That's what drives my emotions. So without music, I can't get my emotions out, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, that, that's, you know, yeah. Now, now you mentioned your fans and the people, and that's actually the reason that, yeah. that you make music, you're very yeah. vocal about that. And you released an instrumental version of your, of your album yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for free to your fans. Why did you yeah. decide to do that? And why for free? Well, when I, was, when I was first making music, the only thing that I could use to sort of rap over or sing over was other people's uh, beats or music. So back then it was a bit easier. You know, the internet, you could get more free stuff easily because the internet was wide open. Yeah. So I used to get instrumentals over, you know, my favorite artists and, and practice over that. And I realized in South Africa, we, we don't give away instrumentals. There's no, we don't do instrumental releases. So a lot of kids can't just rap over your beats and start their careers off of your beats, you know? So I just wanted to really just inspire kids uh, just to get, you know, beats that are known and they can rap over and do whatever they want to do with the, with, the, with the music. And it's just a gift for them. And hopefully a few people get inspired. Already people have sent me their versions of my songs, different versions of my songs. So it's really, it's not for, it's not for, it's not something I can put on for sale and expect people to go out and buy. It's something to just inspire the kids just to start you know, to start off their careers like I had. You know. Whose instrumentals did you rap to the most? I was stealing, um, I was stealing a lot of Kanye West instrumentals, a lot of uh, Jay Dilla instrumentals, a lot of, um, wow, who? I had a lot of, a lot of different yeah, instrumentals, yeah. but I was, yo, I was stealing everything. I, I think I did about six mixtapes. Before I was able to do an album, That's I had about six mixtapes. I so. want to listen to one. No, don't, don't. <laughs> Please don't. don't Those mixtapes are banned. Nobody, <laughs> nobody should go back and listen to them. But, but to tell you the truth, they were really dope. I mean, it was like my purest form of, of music. Um, now my music is more calculated, but that was my purest form of music. So they actually were pretty good, but that was my purest form. All right, so we're going down to, to the end of 2015. What can we expect from you next year? Well, it's just a beautiful thing. I just shot a movie. Um, my whole plan was to always shoot a movie. I, I never wanted to release a lot of singles for my album because I wanted to. I wanted people to sit with it and have an experience with it and decide what they wanted to hear. So people sent through which songs they want to see, which music videos, and I basically shot a movie around all of those different songs. So the music is going to be like a score. Um, so my movie is going to be coming out probably end of January, uh, mid Feb. Um, and that's going to be sort of closing the chapter on this specific album. And, but I'm really excited. I always wanted to make a film, an art film. So we achieved that. So it's going to be coming out really soon. Did you enjoy it? Are we going to expect more films from you? 
Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. I went to film school, so that's, you know, that's something that's always in my heart. That's always in my, you know, it's one of my passions to, to do film. So that's something I'm going to be doing more. It's really expensive, though, because <laughs> it's not like, a, well, it's not an ordinary film. It's an art film, so it's, it was quite, it's very experimental. Um, directed by my friend Carl Lewis, who's a wonderful director. And um, it's going to be very dope, yeah.